See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pulled over for? Absolutely. As soon as you see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. That's not how it works. If, can you tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. No. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. Welcome everyone, I am Leroy Truth for Leroy Truth Investigations and recording the public officials and the police in the course of their duty shall hold a light of transparency to what they do, help us hold them accountable and keep us free. This video, it is priceless and disturbing. It is a police officer who has self-aggrandized himself. He's created a YouTube channel where he does audits on himself. He does audits on his traffic stops. And in his distorted, warped, amoeba-sized brain, he thinks this shows what a great man he is and how incredibly powerful policing is. And God save the queen. You're going to watch this video and say, holy, da 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 this is nuts. Now, this guy goes through a lot of effort. He's got editing. He's got a videographer. And here's a secret key, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. The comments are turned off. Well, you know what? Since his comments are turned off, my comments are always turned on. I want you to give your comments in this video about his video. And you tell me if his attitude is good or bad. I'll tell you. It's freaking bad. He is so arrogant. You know what? Let's just get rolling with this. Let's roll the tape. 71, passing all these cars. Get a good look. That guy right there. Watch his attitude. See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pulled over for? Absolutely. As soon as you see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. That's not how it works. If, can you tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. No. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. This whoa, 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 whoa. This guy thinks this is actually good. He puts this on a YouTube video. And I got to tell you, there are a lot of freaking idiots who love this guy. He's got over half a million views, I believe, on this video. You see how he escalated immediately because the driver exercised his constitutional rights. You know what the worst enemy is? Who the worst enemy is to a cop? A man or a woman, or in many cases, a child who knows and expresses and exercises their constitutional rights. They hate that. They despise us. They want to crush us whenever we do that. I mean, look how quickly he escalated. The driver has a right to ask for the cop's badge and name. And also, he has a right to ask what he was stopped for. Cop doesn't like that. I do this for a living. I know how it's going to go. And this is how it's going to go. Because I'm the boss and you're my servant. Even though later, I think he says he's a public servant. This is a legal request. I don't want to hear any other words out of your mouth except here's my driver's license. Please. Where did he get the authority to tell us we could need to stop talking and we got to listen to him? I mean, that's just, we just we're in this for a few seconds now. What a complete numb walker. Can you say it again? Absolutely. I need your driver's license so I know who you are. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Get Cause you're the boss, man. You're the boss. Give me your driver's license. My name is. I don't want your name. I want a physical ID as required by Arizona law. I am asking you when I'm getting pulled over. I will tell you as soon as I see your driver's license. Okay. And you see that? That's one of the techniques that cops use to express or to attempt to express dominance over you and I. I will tell you, but you got to surrender your Fourth Amendment right first before I tell you if I have a legitimate reason to stop you. Now, some states, it looks like that they actually require the driver to surrender their Fourth Amendment right before a cop tells them if they have a legitimate right to demand our ID or not. 
and some perhaps do not. But anyone who knows more on that, please put it in the comments. But it is bullshit. And the cop doesn't like it when this guy is asking him a question. Mm -mm. Any question? I will gladly give you my license. Oh, there's the photographer right there. See him? And there's his backup or his partner right there, too. I get some identification of the reason why I'm going to pull over us. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're traveling 71 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone. We also see registration and current proof insurance, please. Can I do some the it's, unless it's going to magically appear in your hands, you would have to, right? Now, look at this. What incredible condescension and disrespect is. I'm not even going to call him a human. I'm going to call him Hausschwein, Officer Hausschwein. Look at that up, it's in the German dictionary the driver wants to make sure that he doesn't get shot murdered killed for reaching in his glove box to get his insurance and his registration many people have been murdered by police because someone literally does what the cop says goes into their glove box to get it because that's where it is and then the cops oh i fear for my life bam 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 booda booda boom so this man asks because he doesn't want to be unalived by this cop if he can go into his glove box and the cop condescendingly, seethingly, like, well, it's not going to appear magically, is it? What a piece of garbage. And if you want to contact the sheriff department, I will leave the information in the description so you can tell him what an incredible job of protecting and serving he does and what an incredible job he does of respecting the people he is sworn to serve and protect. Unbelievable. All of your information still current, still living on Mesa? I don't answer any questions. Okay. And I had to get on my phone. You're the one who decided that it needed to be recording, so you could also use it to provide current proof insurance. How about you shut the bleep up, freaking asshole cop? And also, note the stupid-ass 1950s music to make it seem like, oh, this is such a nothing thing, and I'm just doing such a service to the community. All these things matter. Are you required to provide it in a amount of time that would be... Right, it's coming up right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't you just want to go to that cop? Like the Three Stooges? His face. His attitude. So while I'm sitting here and I am a public server, is there any other questions I can answer for you? Reference or contact. Fuck you. What an asshole. Okay. Just want to make sure. You keep working on that. There's no reason to be confrontational like that. There was no part of my contact with him was confrontational. Super simple and cordial. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. And he just, for some reason, just can't seem to understand that there's a sequence of events that transpires. He I'm going to play that back. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. This guy is so freaking delusional as all the cops are. 
what happens is a lot of them really think they aren't escalating and confrontational and pieces of complete garbage. Nuts. Here in Pinal County. And if he doesn't like that, maybe he needs to move back to Mesa. Maybe he needs to move back, back to Mesa. Can you believe that? If he doesn't like it, maybe he needs to get out of my town. That's my town. If he doesn't like that I am trying to command over this guy, he needs to get the hell out of my town. What a piece of crap. As soon as he recorded me and I asked him, hey, I need your driver's license. He's like, I'd be happy to give it to you. But before that, when he wasn't recording me, he absolutely wouldn't. So it's uh, that's why you just you can't believe everything that you see online is because there was that whole entire contact that happened. And he starts to record and all of a sudden he's just the nicest guy. And I'm this big, mean guy that's just demanding stuff. I would imagine he will interpret the fact that he's getting a ticket as a result of his terrible attitude when really it's just the fact that he is just violating Arizona motor vehicle law. So in case you're wondering what 71 miles an hour at 1,000 65 feet looks like on a laser that's what it is and that was his speed so after i locked him in on this i watched him drive past me never lost sight of him pulled in right behind him so i'm sure this is the type of guy that wants to find some sort of i don't know but something to fight in this all right kind sir I have a contact phone number for you with an area code first by the way as you know those guns and the fact that they're called guns is not a whole other problem. The laser guns, they're not always accurate either. Also, you can get the wrong car. There's all kinds of stuff that can go wrong with those. But first, please. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, all the in- supervisor. Hold on, no. No. You can contact one by phone. If I'm requesting a supervisor, you can. You can. I can give you the contact phone number yeah. for the sheriff's office. Absolutely. It's area code five two zero. One out of nine. Eight six six five nine one two. You got that right, everybody. And what a piece of garbage! This driver is demanding a supervisor, which he has a right to do. And what is this piece of garbage cop doing? Oh, you can call him. Here, I'm going to be so courteous and protect and serve you. Here's his phone number. Unacceptable. Hey, you heard it there. He gave it freely. Whatever you choose to do with it, if you want to call and let the sergeant know what an incredible job this cop is doing. Who's going to stop you? 5912? Yep. Do you normally, just a couple questions for you. Do you normally threaten to pull people out of the car just for the masking while they got pulled over? 100% yeah. when they refuse to provide identification but like a, you did. But isn't that a Stop you piece of crap. He did not refuse to give identification. He asked to find out why he was pulled over. And then the cop escalated there. He has a right to do that. And you and I and every person of the public has a right to know why we are being pulled over, if it is legitimate, if there is even a legal reason before we surrender our Fourth Amendment right. The secondary offense? Arizona's not a stop and I just state. Um, like I asked you why I was being pulled that's over, correct. and you didn't want to tell me until I use it as a predecessor. That's you correct, because I need to know who I'm talking to first. Well, hold on a second. Go ahead. Per civil rights and laws, oh, okay. and unless I am being arrested, or unless I'm being well, failing to provide you, failing you, to provide you, evidence of identity is a criminal offense. No, it's a secondary offense. It doesn't matter. It is. It's it an offense. Matter. It doesn't. Officer Stroop, if, if you want, if you will let me speak, and then I'll let you speak, is that all right? No. You don't want to let me speak. No. Okay. No, I'm not here for a back and forth. Uh, well, this isn't I talk and you talk. This is just mind blowing. Write in your comments what your thoughts and feelings are here. It, it is absolutely normally, it is. per the civil rights. Per this has amendment. nothing to do it with civil does. rights. Per the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, which you hold an oath to uphold. You, I know it's very, very disappointing because I like to follow the rules too. Obviously, I got to break this. Well, you like to follow rules except for speed limits I, I, that you don't ask, like to follow. It's, it's objective or subjective. That's the, that's the cursor, okay? So if... if so we're gonna, if we want to play word games, we can play word games here. We can. We can play word games as long as you want. Absolutely. Just for the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States to be secure in my own rights to hold my identity, unless, especially in a state that's not a stop and ID state, aren't you supposed to tell me why you're pulling me over? Absolutely. I, I have no, there is absolutely no requirement for me to tell you. I told you as a common courtesy because it's what I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
this guy has got to be taken off the streets immediately by being fired and prosecuted for all of the human rights violations and probably illegal stops that he has done. I'm only telling you as a common courtesy and only after you surrender your Fourth Amendment freaking right. Before we give up our Fourth Amendment right, we have a right to know if we should be giving up our Fourth Amendment right. If we haven't committed a crime, we are not obligated to give up our Fourth Amendment. I normally do during traffic stops. I know, but it's what you normally do. That's not what the law says you do. It is not a law. It is. It's not a stop in IDC. It is. It's not a law. Okay. Um, we, have, so, we have a difference. We can, we can agree that uh, you are certainly going to get one. So... All the information up the top is yours. Vehicles information's here. It says today at 10.05, you're 71 and a posted 45. Now RMP stands for reasonable and prudent, and that's what the speed limit is. And you're 71 miles an hour and a posted 45. You got your own laser, the most accurate of all speed detection devices. Do you have a printout? Um, I'm sorry? Do you have a printout or a screenshot? No. I have a screenshot, yes. Can I have that? You cannot. Okay. Um, because I have no way to print it out in my car. Okay. So, uh, the direction you're facing right now is eastbound in the number one lane. State Route 24 at Meridian was the closest intersection. Your citation is for speaker and the reasonable and prudent. You're cited into the Santan Justice Court, which is located up in Chandler. You have a court date, only if you wish to appear, on the first day of November at 9 o'clock in the morning. If not, your phone number right here leads you to the court. Knowledgeable court staff there will be able to answer any questions you have, including giving you any sort of information on traffic school. This right here is the driver's license, the registration to which you provided, and an exact carbon copy of the citation. All right, any further questions I can answer for you today, sir? All right. And uh, just so you know, my uh, sergeant is Sergeant Erickson. He's the person that you're going to, thanks for putting your window up. They say you don't want to talk to me anymore. I really hope that this goes to court. I hope, I hope with every fiber of my being that I get to go and see him again. Um, because there's not a judge anywhere in the state of Arizona that would entertain that tomfoolery that just happened there. So hopefully I'll get to see him again and then we'll, uh, we'll have another cordial conversation. So, let's see. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That piece of flesh vomit was so incredibly smarmy and condescending toward a member of the public. And you see how since his ego got bruised because this gentleman, the driver, exercises constitutional right of asking questions, that he made it personal. He was saying, I hope it goes to court. With every fiber of my being, I hope it goes to court. No judge is going to entertain that tomfoolery. Who the freak uses the word tomfoolery, number one, not 1876 anymore, blip, bo. And what was his tomfoolery? Asking why he was pulled over and asking for the police officer's name and badge number before proceeding. And then exercising and expressing and asking questions, which he has a First Amendment right to do so. So if you want to express your First Amendment right and let the sergeant know, let the entire chief police department know how what a wonderful, upstanding job this piece of flesh mob vomit is doing, then hey, who's going to stop you? Till next time, this is Leroy Truth. We need to hold people accountable. And this guy, he's dangerous. You got so many people, they're thinking, wow, this is great. And look, he's so funny. He's not funny, he's idiotic and smarmy and condescending. So till next time, remember, we the people can hold our police accountable. Please share this video, please like it, please subscribe to my channel so we can get the word out to even more people. And once and for all, demand from the political leaders that we want police form reform and we want police accountability now.